Welcome to HKB, I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. Please join us for One Car Why with Mum. One Car Why with Mum, Episode 3. So this time around, we're covering In the Mood for Love from 2000. So we're going to delve a little bit deeper into the World of One Car Wide Box Set from Criterion and uh, yeah, have a little dig in see what we think of this one. The running time of the film is 98 minutes, it's in Cantonese and with English subtitles. The cast in this one we have Maggie Chung as Su Li Xian, Tony Lian as Chao Mo Wan. So yeah, the film comp compromises, comprises rather, of those two actors in the lead roles and there are other actors in it, but I'd say it solely rests on their shoulders really, isn't it? Yes. It's, it's really focused on them yes. too. We have a brief synopsis from IMDB and it goes as follows. Two neighbours form a strong bond after they both suspect extra marital activities of their spouses. However, they agree to keep the bond platonic so as not to commit similar wrongs. Right, so what do you think of this um, <clears throat> sequel, as I like to think of it, to Days of Being Wild? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. It seems to, I mean, at the very end of Days of Being Wild, you see Tony Dung getting ready to go mm -hmm. out. Yes. And if you check, you know, IMDb, HKMDb, his character name is the same, even yes. from his cameo. So it, it is that person, but we seem to take up his story in this one. Well, he's only just introduced right at the very end of Days of Being Wild. And obviously we have Maggie Chung's character, who is the same character. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's um, really tangible the atmosphere in this film you know the chemistry between them it's so um what's the word i'm looking for it, it's just palpable it really is there you know i, mm. I feel like the the sense of longing mm. yeah. between them you know yeah. they're both being cheated on by their respective wife and husband who are together you know Yes, it alludes to that, doesn't it? Yeah. That the other halves have got together. Mm -hmm. Yes, but um, they kind of keep a bit of mystery on it by not showing the faces. Yeah, I really like that, that mm -hmm. it was like the the um, partners were there, but they weren't part of the story in a way, the fact that you didn't see their faces. Yeah. I found that really interesting that that was a choice made not to... Yeah, to say who they were. It's yeah. Like, this is our focus. Yes. This is this is who the story is about. It's not about them. It's about these two characters. And when you think about it, some of the other characters in it, because they both live have separate like rented rooms or what have you in like mm -hmm. a larger house. I don't feel that you really saw much of the people that they live with because they occasionally go and have a meal with them, wouldn't mm -hmm. they, in like the big yeah. like, food area? But you didn't really. No, See you, those people. No, you didn't. Yeah, it, you were always out of the room. The camera was always looking in, and you just saw through the doorway of what was going on in there, which I, I found interesting as well. Yeah, it was a very intelligent way to, to frame the story, mm. and like the other characters were just like a, a backdrop. Yeah. Yeah, to the yeah. story. Yeah. Um, we did have yeah, yeah. The, the people that were in there were good, but um, you really built this film around. The, the two characters played yeah. by Maggie Chung and Tony Lung and um, <clears throat> yeah tremendous job but I mean it's this 60s um, backdrop again and the yes. colouring you know yeah. he's kind of carried that theme on in this the green one. sort of shade over everything yeah or most things yeah I mean I, I think if anything the photography in this one's a step ahead of the last film I think so. I mm. remember feeling really sort of absorbed by it, completely yeah. by the film, um, 
by the photography mm -hmm. and also the fabulous um, dresses that Maggie Chung wears are just amazing. And you know, how striking does she look in oh, this film? Oh, very striking. She looks yeah. fantastic, yeah, doesn't she? she? Does, you know? yeah. It makes one wonder, you know, why her husband would stray, but <laughs> you know, you can, that's life, isn't it? These things do happen and what seems impossible can happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, sometimes what you want to happen doesn't happen and this film is very much about those themes yeah and um, what do you think of the soundtrack in this one yeah really nice yeah yeah, yeah. really sort of gentle mm -hmm. um, but atmospheric yeah yeah we both big fans of the soundtrack in this film um, Wong Kar Wai seems to know how to put music to visuals mm. and um, you know this film's no exception it's remarkable how well he blends in all these different ingredients you know mm. the photography the acting the story the soundtrack the costumes the atmosphere just it's just thick yeah. with atmosphere yeah. so i'm scoring this one nine out of ten that's a great score i'm scoring eight out of ten awesome Okay, so you've heard what we have to say and know our scores. So let's have a little listen to what mum has to say. And warning, there may be spoilers. Right, so welcome to One Car Why with mum, part three. This time we watched In the Mood for Love with Tony Lung and Maggie Chung. What did you think of this one, mum? I thought it was lovely. I really enjoyed it. Lots I actually would like to see again. For instance, the outfits that the young lady wore, I thought they were fantastic. Wish I had counted them the first time. Second time I will. Excellent. And um, how did you feel the chemistry was between the two lead actors? Really good, really good. I was just hoping and hoping that they would get together Obviously, that didn't happen, or it shouldn't have happened. I don't know what to really think about it. No. Do you think there was more, perhaps, that happened off screen that wasn't actually told yes. for us? Yes, very much so. I got my own ideas of what happened. Mm hmm. And do you want to let us know? Well, I think actually that. They did spend a night together and I do think that the little boy she had was his. I really do believe that. Yeah, that's good. That's interesting that you think that because I've kind of always had that in the back of my yeah, mind too. I really think that. Because yeah. it was obvious they were really living each other. They loved each other, but neither of them them would commit to each other yeah. at that particular time, you know. But I'm just hoping that maybe later and maybe another film that something happens that they do get together because it was a lovely love story. Great. So if you're gonna rate this one for the viewers mum, what are you gonna score it this time? Eight and a half. Fantastic. So folks, we will return for one car wire with mum part four and see what mum thinks of 2046. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Right. So, again, another one that mum seemed to really enjoy. I think yeah. she was really moved by this film. I think mm. it meant a great deal to her. Yeah, I do too. She was really wrapped up in the romance. Yeah. I mean, even when she was speaking to us afterwards about the film, you know, some of the little elements in there, the little themes um, she liked. The bit where they were talking about the tree at the end of the world and where you'd whisper your secret into it and cover it up and that will keep your secret. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, we like that as well, don't we? That was, yeah, you yeah. know, a really sort of novel idea, which, um, you know, that theme will carry through into the next film. Is, 
when we'll find out and um, yeah we're just really really pleased that this one was you know did touch mum because um the last one she enjoyed it but i feel like this one really gripped her a lot more yeah 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 and she was definitely i think we've got a big tummy lung fan um with mum yeah she seems to really enjoy them doesn't she all right so anything else you'd like to add about um what mum had to say or i think like me mum was sort of in awe of all of the costumes that Maggie Chung wore because there were mm. some beautiful dresses. Yes, yes, she did like the costumes particularly and the soundtrack as well. Yes. Mm. yes. Right, so that's all for this one, guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video and you found it of some value, then you can let us know by hitting the like button and uh, Controversially, if you didn't like it, then you know, hit the dislike button so we, we know we've got an indicator of which direction to go. Uh, we'd like to thank all the subscribers, all the viewers, all the new friends we've made out there um, across the social media. You know, everybody that follows along on social media and gets involved, it really does mean a great deal to the both of us. And um, yeah, we hope to see you next time on uh, episode four when we will be covering 2046 please join us then and uh yeah hopefully we'll see you then and remember folks be true and buy the blue <laughs>